Hey guys, we're back with Jim's How To Channel. We're here at Foothills Conference Centre. Chef Bill from the from the kitchen has asked us if we can put together a bit of a herb garden for him just outside the back door. So we've got a few bits and pieces here. We've got some flowers and we've also got some herbs and we're gonna look at putting it up on this wall behind us. So we now need to find a pallet that we don't need anymore, an old pallet and a few bits and pieces and then we're gonna look at attaching it. Let's go on the hunt. All right, well there's one pellet, we can probably use that. Another one there, I can use that to put underneath it to give me the right height. What else are we gonna get? I can make that work too. Okay, so we decided to put some concrete blocks underneath just to hold any extra weight, get that in the position we want. It's not quite level, so what we're going to do, grabbed a couple of bits of packing here. So a couple of little bits of, just of scrap that I've got lying around. So I'm going to mark under here where I'm going to put my blocks. It's nicely there so it means that we can have it sitting slightly off the wall which means it's less likely to rot and cause damage to the wall and also so that we can fit our brackets over the the pallet to put our planter boxes on it we've got some movement so that the, the pallet won't fall down but I don't want it to fall off the wall either so I'm going to pop a just a little angle bracket that I've got there that I'm going to screw into the wall and then I'm going to screw into the pallet we're going to put one here we're going to put one here So we've got our pallet on the wall now. We're nice and secure on the top there. It's not going anywhere. And we've got our blocks underneath there to provide some extra support. We've also got those blocks that we put on the wall that have gone into the timber studs as well. You need to maybe get a stud finder or something like that to make sure you know where those go. And then we're basically just putting the, the brackets in there to attach pot plants. Now you might have a slightly different pot plant holder that you get. Now if you were to get one that didn't need this hook on there, you might have one that you can screw directly into here and that might make it a bit easier for you as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of dirt in the bottom of the pot plant here. Okay, not too much. Then we're going to pop our herbs in. We've got rosemary. There's our first planter. Done, five to go. Okay guys, so we're all done now. Popped them all up. You can get any of these pot plants and all the, everything we've got here from Bunnings or any hardware store. Um, you might find slightly different planters, but you're gonna find it maybe even at a $2 shop or something like that to get it nice and cheap. So that's it, we're gonna water it, bring the chef out to have a look, and we're good to go. Okay guys, so wrapping up now. Now something like this, it's taken probably about two hours to do. So with without the materials, getting someone to come in and do something like this probably costs you around $200, $250 maybe. Um, or you can obviously do it yourself at home. Um, these pots and everything, you know, you might even be able to get these second hand or from a $2 shop, so you've obviously got the cost of that. Your pallet should be free in a couple of screws. So, you know, all up, this has probably cost us about $300 all up um, with sort of labor and the, and the cost of the materials. And you've got a nice little pot plant here, ready to go. Pick as many herbs as you like. What do we got? A bit of basil. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat it, but it's taste, it smells nice. All right, catch you later, bye-bye.